So here we have the Ford Focus 1 litre EcoBoost style on a 66 plate. Start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you'll see it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see that there's plenty of boot space in this car along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat so that you can increase the space should you need to. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way back around to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Uh, but now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are in lovely condition and there's plenty to run through on the dashboard as well. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges, and then above that, we have a trip computer which displays the total miles on this car of 15,581. You can change the information that's displayed above that by pressing and using the buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel for various different bits of fuel economy info, uh, including you can have the digital readout for the speedometer, which you see there, and that's uh, very, very handy. Uh, backing out to the steering wheel, they're the buttons I was using a moment ago on the left hand side and on the right hand side we've got stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So once you pair up a phone, hit that button in the middle, ask it to dial any one of your contacts list and it will do that for you without you having to reach for your phone um, from your bag or pocket. Um, the phone itself is paired using the screen over in the centre and the stereo directly beneath it. Uh, so on the screen, first of all, uh, if I hit the radio button you'll see we've got DAB digital radio. Uh, as well as FM and AM. In terms of other ways to listen to music, if I hit media, this car's got a CD player, two USB inputs, and also you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music on this car. You'll see the CD player just at the top of this unit here, and then the buttons I was using a moment ago are just down here, and obviously you can pair your phone via that button. Underneath that, we've got the air conditioning for the car. Uh, so fan speed is adjustable on the left, temperature on the right, Hit that button in the middle to turn the air conditioning on and then you can determine where within the car you'd like the air to blow and you've got a rear screen heater just there or obviously you can turn the fans off from there as well. Uh, underneath that to the right we've got one of the USB inputs along with a 12 volt charging socket. This button is for the stop and start so this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. If you hit that button that turns that system off. You then have a five speed manual gearbox and all the way back in the centre here we've got a second USB input. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.